How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the Pegasus boots and how to complete the key cabin in Link's Awakening so let's begin. As soon as you enter the key cabin smash all the pots and collect all the bombs we will be needing these later on and then smash your way through to the first room. Take out these four enemies the most dangerous of them all is the bombs you need to avoid them as they bounce around like maniacs and then once you've defeated them all the treasure chest will appear and we can collect our first key. And then head on into the next room where we'll be met with four green vaults, take them out and we'll get another treasure chest but watch out this one is a decoy, there ain't no treasure in this chest, Arr. Take out the green vault and just continue on into the next room. We'll be met with some Stolfus, take them out, we can't actually get the key or the treasure chest for this part yet because there's an enemy on the other side but we can't access that part yet. So take out these voles in this room as well. So take out these voles and then head through the underground path which we will be met with four different options. We're gonna head through the door north to us first. Inside we'll be met with two enemies, take them out and we get another key. This room is also good for refilling your hearts if you've taken damage earlier on. As you can see, after you pick up this key, there's a pot here that has a heart in it as well. And the enemy also gives you a heart. So now we're going to hit the crystal switch, change it from blue to orange. Head back upstairs. Now we have access to this treasure chest here, which will give us the stone beak, which will be very handy in giving us clues from the owl. So now we're going to head back because there's another room that we skipped earlier on. In this room, now we can walk around and get access to the treasure chest guarded by the Grim Reaper thing. And inside there we should get the town map. The dungeon map. This ain't Pokemon. From here head back to the stairs which took you down to the room with the four locked doors. Here we're going to enter the left hand side one and we'll be met with some parrots. To defeat them you need to drop a bomb to the one that you want to explode diagonally and then jump on over to make him teleport. You need to do this a few times, I think 3 hits each and they'll be down. If you've got the bow and arrow you can also shoot them which is much easier. And once you've taken them out you can get the key and this key will give us access to another part of the dungeon so Let's head on out of here and then go through the door on the right hand side. Inside there's the travelator thing and a parod and two keys. So you can either take them out or make the parod teleport itself. You don't have to take out the parod if you don't want to. And then head up to the stairs. Here we can get another key. We've got to walk around to get the voles to come out and then take them out. There should be about five, I think. And there's our key. And now we're going to head straight ahead. Next, head straight ahead and we're met with some more enemies with spears. Take them out. And then if you're low on hearts, you can get some from these pots and also bombs. You can never have n enough bombs in this game. So now take out the red gels, there's five of them and then the doors that just close will open again. We're going to head through this left one first and we're met with some parods. You know how to defeat them by now. Drop bombs to make them teleport or either use arrows. My third option, arrows. I don't know why. So. We get the key once we've taken out these enemies and then we're going to continue forwards to the next room. We're met with some red gels and Stolfus. Take them out as well and it will reveal a treasure chest which is on a higher level. So we're going to go over there in a minute. So here I recommend just smashing this bomb but don't break the pots so then he just explodes himself then go around and take out the rest of the enemies. Remember these bombs are crazy. They just bounce around like maniacs. 
And now we should have access to go up and it, you can always use the clues from the stone owls. So in this treasure chest there is 50 rupees. And now we're just going to head back and enter the other room which will be met with our next battle. So now we're met with the Dodongo snakes. To defeat them we need to drop bombs in the way of their path so they swallow them up. So all you have to do is to work out which direction they're going to go and time the bomb so that they swallow it and after like three hits each they should explode and reveal the new warp path and we can also pick up these fairies to get more life. And finally in this treasure chest there is the Pegasus boots. First we need to move the bottom panel to the left and then the other panel up and then we've got access to the treasure chest which will give us the Pegasus boots finally. So to use Pegasus boots we use the L button and it will send Link dashing through different items like these. And then we need to push this square, exit the room and then re-enter that room because in here we need to get access to a secret room. So take out the enemies. So they won't bother you and then go to the stone out. Put in the stone beak for the clue which tells us to poke the parts of the wall to find out a weak spot. The weak spot in the wall is actually where directly facing the owl in this grey bit here. So what we need to do is to drop a bomb, move out of the way. Once it explodes it reveals a new doorway. So we go here, take out the enemies. reload our health and as you can see there's cracks on the wall there we can drop a bomb here and that will open another doorway back into the other room. And now we're going to use Pegasus boots to run and then Rock Feather to jump over this huge gap. We're going to do the same up here to get to this treasure chest. So Pegasus boots to run and then jump with the Rock's Feather and now we've got the Nightmare Key. So from here in the walkthrough we're actually three keys away from the final boss battle. So we're just going to head back into the room with the owl. And then we're going to go straight up to the other room. Inside we're met with some more enemies. These bombs actually explode with a timer. So you need to jump out the way at the last second if you're too close to them. So once you've defeated them all, the next door will open. Inside there's a treasure chest with the compass. So take out the enemies and we can pick up the compass. So uh, after this, I've edited it so that you can get the key which I missed, which I got at the end. You just drop a bomb here in this corner into the next room. In this room, use the layout to your advantage. Hit that one bomb and it should take them all out and reveal the next key. Smash these pots and there should be a fairy inside so we can regain our health as well. From here we're going to head back to the room with the four doors. This time we're going to go through the final door and that should give us another key. So in here it's full, full of different enemies, the Stolfuses, the Patriots and Zoles, so take them all out. There's actually one more Zole in the bottom right hand corner, so head over there and he'll appear. Take him out and the key will drop from the ceiling. You're going to have to get it before it falls down that hole. So now we're going to go back and get our final key, head back up those stairs. straight to the front entrance and we're going to go to the right. So in here we've got to take out the Vortex, run at it with Pegasus boots and give it a few slashes and then inside the treasure chest we can get our final key. Now head back to the place where the entrance to the Dodongo snakes were and you can see the silver locks. There's four of them so unlock those and we get slowly access each of these different parts 
and we're one step closer to the final boss battle. So we're going to take this underground path. To get past this red block, we need to use Pegasus boots to run at him. And look at his face. Oh. Now we're going to use Pegasus boots to run and jump with Rock Feather onto this ladder. Next slide down and we enter this room where we can regain some health, take out the pair rods and whatever these things are actually are. Enter the next room, take out the keys, and now we have access to the boss. So the final boss is the slime. First some zoles will fall down, so take them out. And then the, you, the slime doesn't actually appear until you use Pegasus boots to run at the wall so he drops down. So to defeat him we need to hit him in his weak spot, the eye. And then he'll spread and then we need to use Pegasus boots to run through him and split him in half. Once he's split in half you notice that he's going to drop and try and squash you. So just keep taking him out by hitting him in the eye. Should take about four shots I think each on each slime as they split and that should give us the win pick up your heart container in the next room we can pick up the sea lilies bell so guys if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing for more link to awakening walkthroughs or check out some of my other videos to help support my channel i'm simon from log level one gamer until next time peace out